Hi everyone, welcome to the session where I'll show you how to print subscript and superscript with Python for negative values, positive values, for double digits or more, and even for a string that has more than one characters. Okay, so before starting, superscript is not available for the below alphabets, like for small alphabets, Q, it's not available. For a workaround, we can use this symbol which has a Unicode U146P. And for capital letters, it's not available for C, F, Q, S, X, Y, Z. Okay. And similarly, for subscript is not available for the below alphabets. B, C, D, F, G, Q, W, Z. And for capital alphabets, it's not available at all. Before starting on this video, I just want to say that this video is nothing but an extension of my previous video on subscript and superscript with Python. So this is the video like where an, I have shown you how to code and how to create the superscript and subscript but there I have shown you just for one character like only x to the power 5 or x to the power 6 not more than one byte okay so how we will create for more than one byte I will show in this video even for a positive number or negative number or like minus uh, x to the power minus 1000 x to the power minus abc x to the power minus pqrs how we will create that so if you can see this is the original uh, like code that I have written where I have created two dictionary dictionary one and dictionary two and then I have written these two function based on which we have created our all the like uh, hands on which we have done. What I will do now I have created a very like uh, big dictionary for superscript and for subscript it's a dictionary two okay this and all the values whatever is available I have created uh, I have added in dictionary one for superscript from 0 to 9 plus minus equal to and then small letters capital letters and similarly for dictionary two I have done whatever is available even if I have missed something please add and you can continue your work so what we will do is these are the two two functions superscript and subscript what I will do I'll execute this not what my function is for superscript of x to the power 5 okay if I code like this it will be and again subscript of it is coming like this now if I say if I say superscript of x to the power 50 it will say x now there is a way how we can achieve this I will say power 0 inside the codes now x to the power 50 is done okay Similarly, in case of subscript, you can also do the same. X with subscript as 50. Now, if you want to get, if you want to get a for positive number, if you want to get the x to the power minus 1000, suppose minus 1000. So, in that case, what will say? Superscript of x to the power. First of all, minus will come. Okay. If we execute this, then x to the power minus. After this, what we'll do? again SUPS then 1 okay close again if you pass x to the power minus 100 similarly you can add 1 0 and it will be x to the power of minus 1 so and you can replace this super SUPS with subscript subs okay and you will get this but if you if you say that i don't want to write this this is very actually bit complicated i don't want to write a function inside a function again a function inside a function if i have around 10 values if i say some 10 values or uh, then i have to write such a big like function right from here till here and there uh, there will be a lot of uh, chance of it error will be there so in that case in order to avoid that what I will do I'll create two more function I'll say let's define subscript and superscript simple superscript and then in this what I will pass pass I will pass the same base comma x comma power okay power is nothing like in case if you want to uh, pass some sign like plus minus or some currency symbol you can pass in place of p and then what I will say for y is equal to I will explain you with my code and then you will understand what I am trying for i in x because x is the string that's why we are running the loop for i in x and then if you if you see this value what is this value actually 
Now, if I want to say the x to the power of l m n o p, okay, x to the power of l m n o p. In that case, I'll say for i in l m n o p print i. Right? We have this. Now, what I will do? I'll take this. I'll take this value here for my superscript. I'll pass this L and then so you can see this is nothing but a superscript and if I attach it with X okay so you can see here you can get X to the power of L similarly if we what I will do if we run a iteration for every value whatever I am getting I am passing it and converting it into a superscript so one by one it will be converted and for that what I will do I will say I'll take this dictionary one whatever value is here okay and then what I I will y is empty so I'll say y is equal to y plus z okay and then after this I will return superscript of base comma p because Base comma p is nothing but like if you say that superscript of x to the power of plus something plus you want to say okay so it will come as so it will simply and after it will simply provide you x to the power of plus and then whatever value we are iterating here one by one it's getting uh, appended in a string right plus that value y now let's execute this so if we say that superscript of x to the power of what I said l m n o p comma plus if I say plus why it is not yes we are passing here i okay now if you run this execute this okay and if you execute my code here, because I've given the print statement, so you can see here. So you can see first L and then LM is concatenated LMN, LMNO, LMNOP. And so you can see x to the power of plus LMNOP. Now, what I will do, I will simply copy this and then I'll say subscript. Okay. And here I will pass dictionary 2 and rest everything remain the same. For subscript, we already know capital is not available so in that case uh, we will use some values like small element op so let's execute this subscript and then what we'll say we will pay base of x and then we'll say lm and op comma and then we'll say suppose minus you can see here right So something here I need to pass it. Yes, in subscript uh, I'm passing. Yeah, because I need to pass this subscript also here, right? So now it will be executed properly. So if you execute now the x to the base minus element op. Now if you want to get the value like uh, superscript of x to the power of 1000 plus 1000, okay. So this and similarly if you want to pass x to the power of minus 1000 if you want to say like even increase this count number in my previous example if you were following that you have to just imagine the number of time you have to pass SUPS inside SUPS inside and this is doing exactly what you are looking for if you if you change this subscript to superscript to subscript this is how you get it if I change this value okay just change it to okay and if I change this to plus here right you are getting this after this instead of subscript I want to pass superscript you can see here x to the power 0 1 2 and even you can change the you can change the sign okay I hope I am able to make you understand what I am trying to achieve here okay
what I will do, I will upload this code in my GitHub and once when I am uh, sharing my video in YouTube, then I will that in the description section the GitHub link will be present. Okay, so you can refer about this dictionary one, dictionary two, and this code which I have written. So in this section, what I have done is I have previously shown my existing uh, code what I have written. After that, I have we have. Uh, updated that code and have created the dictionary updated dictionary one and dictionary two and then we have created two more function superscript and subscript and then our code is working what i have shown you so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in my next video thank you